congratulations. You have just received your Lenovo Google Chromebook. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Inside here, looks like we have our power cord, which comes with a box that we're going to attach. So we have our power cord and also a box that we attach the power cord to. Then I'm going to take out the phone that's holding the Chromebook in there and here's one Chromebook we have a small Chromebook right here and papers set of instructions and another phone at the bottom of the box it's inside our box. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we have our cord and our cord box. We call it a cord box. So I'm going to take that out the bag and then I'm going to take the cord, the wire from around the cord. I have my cord here. And then I'm going to take the wire or this Velcro strap from around the cord box. Untangle that. And then we're gonna plug in this side, one side of our cord into the battery box. That's our next step. Okay, so now we have our cord and our crumble. I'm going to take the Chromebook out of the bag. Okay. And now I'm going to put this yellow, this yellow shiny side of the cord. I'm going to turn the laptop to where I have the Google Chrome sign down the bottom. Okay, so I have the Google Chrome sign down the bottom. And right here on the top left side is where I'm going to plug this yellow cord in. Okay, it goes right in here. So I insert it. And then with the other side of my cord, this goes into my electrical outlet, this side. So I'm going to plug this into the electrical outlet. Another useful piece of information that came in your box is this setup guide. One thing I found useful with this is that inside it shows you how to also plug in and set up your Google Chromebook and also it tells you where the different buttons are. So we can see here on this page right here it has the different number of buttons and if I unfold the booklet it tells me where I can find different parts on my Google Chromebook and at the top it has English so there's numbered here showing the different parts of the computer and then it tells you what those parts are right over here from numbers 1 to 17. So that's another useful bit of information that you can take advantage of. Okay so here we have our Chromebook plugged in. So I have my Chromebook plugged in, my power cords plugged in, and now I'm going to open my Chromebook. Okay, so here we are. This is the setup screen, and this will be the only time you'll see this setup screen because you're setting up your computer or your laptop or your Chromebook, sorry, for the very first time. So we're going to select let's go and it's actually a touch screen so I'm just going to go let's go 
and now what we're seeing is the Wi-Fi networks or Wi-Fi routers in your house so you're gonna have to select the router your Wi-Fi router at home so I'm gonna select mine so you have to make sure that you have your Wi-Fi password okay so once I have it typed in then I'm gonna select connect and then it's gonna connect to my Wi-Fi okay and then here's the terms we're agreeing to and we're gonna push accept and continue right here and it's loading and connecting to our Wi-Fi all right so then we have digital setup where we have who is using this Chromebook so we're gonna say your child and then next okay so your child should also the school will give your child a Google account okay so I'm gonna put my sign in with your child's Google account so you have to make sure you have your Google account from the school Then I'm gonna put in my email address and you will put in your child's email address okay so I have my email address in okay, my email address is in there and then I'm going to select next all right and then I'm gonna put in my password. So each student has their email address, is their username, and then I'm gonna put in my password. Okay, so I put in my password, and then I'm gonna push next. correctly logged into my school account if I go in the top right corner over here I'll see nine circles nine circles over here which give me access which gives me access to the Google app so there's nine circles on the right hand side of the screen and over here so I'm going to select those nine circles and then I'm going to go to Drive. Okay, and in the top right corner, you'll see the first letter in your child's first name. Okay, so if I select that, okay, that will give you your child's name and also their username needed to log into Google. And this is how you can tell that your child is logged into the correct account. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to join a Zoom meeting. So when you're doing remote learning, this is how you get onto Zoom. So at the bottom on your desktop right here, we have a blue circle with a white camera. That's the zoom symbol. So I'm gonna select that zoom symbol. I can either touch the screen or I can use my mouse pad right down here. I can use my mouse pad to scroll over. I'm gonna select zoom. Okay, you wanna make sure that you have a white line underneath join meeting. And then you're gonna put your teacher's ID your teacher's ID is going to go at the top right here. This is where your teacher's ID goes. So I'm going to type that in. Teacher's ID. 
purchase ID so you can log into your remote learning. Okay, then you want to put your name that your teacher's going to see. So you want to put your name, your first and last name, right down here. And then I'm going to select join. And then the second thing you're going to put in is your teacher's Zoom password. So I put in my Zoom password. And then I'm going to select join. And then I'm going to select join with video because my teacher needs to see me. And then we can hear that it's chiming so your teacher will let you in. And then it's going to just take a few minutes to connect. And then you're connected. Okay. How to turn your Chromebook off. In the bottom right corner, you'll see a clock, Wi Fi signal, and a battery. So you have a clock, Wi Fi signal, and a battery. I'm going to just push on the clock with my mouse. Then I'm going to get a menu and then I'm going to select this button right here that says shut down. Okay, and that's going to turn off my Chromebook like a packet of ways.